The Mogollon Mustangs high school football team had just hit the road heading back home to Heber when students on the back of the bus said that they started to smell smoke. This isn't how the Mogollon Mustangs plan to celebrate their big road game victory. Oh, I just thought it was crazy. I didn't think anything like that could ever like happen to us. Their bus catching fire with about 40 students and coaches inside. Smoke was terrible. They are the reigning 1A division champions for three years in a row. Head coach Rick Salmon hoping to make it four this year. We got a lot to do, a lot to cover. But this set them back. Oh. Two weeks ago, they were driving to Heber from Mayer, Arizona, when 10 minutes into their drive on I-17. We heard like a pop. Sophomore Bryson Kelton was sitting in the back seats. It smelled like rubber burning. When he noticed. Then there's a fire that came through the plastic of this, like, behind me. I yelled fire. Students like Keegan Porter immediately pushing toward the front of the bus. He sounded pretty serious, so I was just like, it's time to get off the bus, gotta hurry. The driver tried to knock down the flames with a fire extinguisher, but had no luck. And then I'm like, let's go guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Coach Sam and telling everyone to leave their belongings and evacuate. We lose stuff, we'll, we can take care of that. But I can't replace the life. Once everyone was off. It was scary. The fire took over. 10 and 12 foot flames coming out of the back of the bus. Consuming everything inside. Some people left a lot of stuff. Backpacks, cell phones, football gear, all gone. One student even lost their championship rings. A team that worked so hard to get where they are, now taking a big step back. Then some had an idea to start a GoFundMe. Thought that might be a good idea to recover some of the losses. Within 24 hours, it raised $6,000. That is overwhelming. They actually stopped taking donations, but that didn't stop other teams in the state from wanting to help get these players back on the field. Multiple schools say, hey, I got shoulder pads, extra helmets, whatever. Everybody's been so generous to, to make sure that we can continue to play. Showing just how much love the community and those around here have for their team. Man, I don't, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed for what they were willing to do for us. I think that that many people were concerned and cared about them to help support us. Making Coach and the players incredibly thankful. It means a lot. It means that we have people that care about us, care about our team. Not only are they back, day by day, day by day, but we'll use the kindness from so many as motivation for the next win. Won't be me, won't be me. Chase Golightly, 12 News.